There's new life in the luxury compact class now. With its dynamic concept, the new Audi 90 is way ahead of its time. The new Audi 90 combines power and visual appeal in the compact prestige sector. With the new Audi 90, the enthusiastic saloon car driver commands a powerful five-seater. Legroom and headspace are generously dimensioned for the rear seat passengers as well. In spite of its spacious interior, the new Audi 90 has a compact, fully aerodynamic body shape and elegant silhouette. The smooth, streamlined shape with its flush glazing reduces air drag and minimizes wind noise at high speeds. The bonnet conceals the windscreen wiper shafts and the outer mirror housings are also aerodynamically designed. aerodynamic styling down to the smallest detail, such as the flush-mounted door handles. The dynamic rear-end styling is the result of wind tunnel optimization. A distinctive feature of the new Audi 90 is the rear light band forming a continuous line over the full vehicle width. The front end, with its wide halogen headlights and integral, long-range driving lights, is the epitome of Audi. Fog lights and turn indicators are integrated into the front apron. The wedge-shaped body, with its flowing lines and attention to aerodynamic detail, is powered by sophisticated modern technology in the shape of high-torque, fuel-injected five-cylinder engines, notable for smooth running, lively performance and environmental acceptability. Both the engine options of the new Audi 90 can be fitted with exhaust emission control on request. The outstanding fuel economy of Audi engines is legendary. The new Audi 90 is marketed with two engine options. The 2.0-litre 115 brake horsepower version and the 2.3-litre engine which puts 136 brake horsepower on the road. This high-performance version powers the Audi 90 Quattro as well. The Audi 90 not only sets new standards in styling, aerodynamics and engine design, but also in its sophisticated equipment. For example, the new Audi Procon 10 safety system, which received the German Safety Award, the fully galvanized body shell, the permanent four-wheel drive of the Audi Quattro, the ABS anti-lock braking system and the superior comfort offered by the new Audi 90. First, let's focus on the revolutionary new safety system, the Audi Programmed Contraction and Tension System, Procon 10. In a head-on collision, it is the driver who is in the greatest danger. The steering wheel frequently causes severe head injuries. We wrap steel cables around the engine block and connect them to the safety belts and steering column. In a frontal collision, the cables tighten the safety belts and pull the steering wheel out of the way. A new safety system, Procon 10. One more reason to drive an Audi. This spot already gave television coverage to the Audi Procon 10 safety system. But what is the underlying principle? We asked its inventor, Elmer Falmer, how the revolutionary new idea works. Above a certain impact velocity, the engine transmission block is forced back towards the body. We take advantage of this movement to actuate stainless steel cables connected to the body and transmission block via pulleys. These steel ropes pull the steering column towards the dashboard and, at the same time, tension the front seat belts. And how are the belts tensioned? 
we are a predetermined length of cable is wound up in a drum which is connected to the inertia reel retractors so the belt is tensioned by winding it in reverse and how do you prevent it tightening too much we limit it in two ways, first by allowing only a limited length of cable and secondly by using a built-in force limiter. Perhaps you could tell us what's so special about the Audi Procon 10 safety system. The special advantage of Procon 10 is that it's a very simple and mechanically operated system. It doesn't need any external energy source, but derives its motive power from the forces unleashed by the collision itself, which trigger the system. So that means the safety system is only activated in the event of a collision. The steering wheel can't simply disappear of its own accord. That's correct, and the major advantage of this system is that it can't be accidentally triggered. It may not be such an innovation as the Audi Pro Content safety system, but the proven and improved Quattro permanent four-wheel drive concept is every bit as convincing. There's no longer any need to engage pure front or rear-wheel drive. The tractive forces are variably distributed, thereby preventing the wheels from spinning. On a wet road surface, the four driven wheels bring one and a half times more tractive force to bear on the ground than cars of the same power rating and weight achieve with only two driven wheels. On snowbound or icy roads, there is even a two and a quarter fold traction advantage, which provides an additional safety bonus. But the Audi Quattro's permanent four wheel drive not only meets the challenge of wet and slippery road conditions or freezing damp, the Audi Quattro's directional stability and cornering behaviour are unsurpassed as well. As the drive forces are equally distributed between the front and rear axles, the torque on each driven wheel is only half as great as it would be in the case of two-wheel drive, and this automatically reduces the danger of wheel spin. Cornering behaviour is optimised because the axle, which demands a higher degree of road holding for its lateral guidance, is automatically fed less torque. This mobilises extra reserves of safety in critical situations and enhances cornering stability. The heart of this Quattro self-locking four-wheel drive is the new Torsen inter-axle differential. It normally distributes the drive forces to the front and rear axle at a 50-50 ratio. In cornering, a lot of lateral guidance is needed for steering, so the tractive forces are best distributed to the rear axle. But this increases the tendency of the rear wheels to slip, causing the vehicle to break away at higher speeds. If on a poor road surface there is danger of rear wheel slip while pulling away, the rear differential lock can be manually engaged. And off we go! At speeds above 15 miles per hour, the rear axle lock is released electronically, permanent four wheel drive is reinstated, and this automatically reactivates the ABS anti lock braking system. As the torsen interaxle differential permits RPM differences between all four wheels, brake power can be individually regulated for each wheel, and so the anti-lock braking system is fully effective. And that brings us to the next feature, ABS. Just as four-wheel drive gives the Audi 90 Quattro enhanced driving stability, the ABS anti-lock braking system increases its braking efficiency, and the combination of both systems affords greater mobility and optimum road safety. ABS means supremely safe driving, minimizing the stopping distance under maximum vehicle control. 
is breaking power distributed so effectively by ABS? The brain of the anti-lock braking system is an electronic control unit. Sensors located at all four wheels register their revolutions and the microprocessor optimizes the braking values for any given situation. By continually increasing, maintaining or decreasing the braking force within fractions of a second, the electronic control prevents the wheels locking up and guarantees optimum braking performance. And this is where ABS really comes into its own. By forestalling wheel lockup during the braking maneuver, the electronic system keeps the car under perfect control. An Audi 90 equipped with ABS can still maneuver safely around obstacles in spite of full pedal application. But even when the ABS is deactivated, the new Audi 90 still commands full braking potential. The ABS anti-lock braking system, the Audi Procon 10 safety system and the Quattro four-wheel drive all contribute to supremely safe driving. Like all Audi models, the Audi 90 is celebrated for its long-term quality. The 100% galvanized body adds a completely new dimension, enhancing the car's value and life expectancy. On all series saloons, the body panels are made of steel galvanized on both sides. The protective effect of fully galvanized metal is due to the fact that the corrosion rate of zinc is five to 10 times slower than that of steel and that in places where the zinc layer is mechanically damaged and moisture penetrates, the cathode protective effect ensures that the zinc sacrifices itself while the steel remains intact. Right from the outset, the fully galvanized body has to be produced with the utmost care and precision. This is the only way to ensure that the galvanic coating on the steel is not damaged. A further measure to improve the body's durability is cavity sealing with hot wax in the automatic wax flooding plant. The underbody and wheel arches receive a PVC coating and the front wheel housings are fitted with additional plastic liners. Corners, folds and joins must not be exposed to corrosion from accumulated water and salt. So these sensitive areas are bonded and additionally sealed with PVC. In a combined spray dip process, the white body shell is first degreased. And then rinsed. Then a zinc phosphate layer is applied. It serves as a base for the paintwork and as additional protection against rust infiltration. The foundations have now been laid for high quality paintwork. The next step is dip priming by the electric cataphoretic method. Folds, edges, pillars and cavities all benefit particularly from this intensive and reliable treatment. After the phosphate layer and the primer, a protective filler against stone impact is applied. It provides a flexible layer to protect against possible chipping of the top coat. These elaborate but effective anti-corrosion measures not only protect the new Audi 90 against routine wear and tear, but enable it to stand up to long-term extremes of climate and environmental hazards. They are a product of high-quality German craftsmanship, enhancing its value, life expectancy and resale prospects. The new Audi 90 is an outstanding example of a car with a really high level of equipment. Many of its exclusive features are standard and don't count as on-cost extras. Compare it with others of its class to see what they haven't got. The Audi 90's standard equipment package includes front seat belts with height adjustable sash guides as well as frame type front head restraints. Drivers of every stature can find their optimum sitting posture because the seat automatically adapts to every change of position.
The comprehensive standard equipment also includes electrically operated central locking for all doors and luggage compartment. The new Audi 90 is a capacious five-seater saloon with a folding center armrest in the rear seat bag. The contoured rear seat has backrests shaped in the head area. The completely restyled driving area can be still further enhanced by optional equipment from the Audi package. For example, the computer-controlled auto-check system with nine different functional displays. The harmoniously integrated driver's armrest also serves as a control console for the optional power seat adjustment with an electronic memory for four seat positions. You can also opt for electric window lift controls, for a gear knob hand trimmed in leather, or made of polished wood. As far as audio equipment goes, Audi is a real pleasure drone. There's a wide range of audio systems in tailored designs. And the rear seat passengers have their own headset jacks. There's a choice of light alloy wheels in sporting and elegant designs. And a rear spoiler in matching body color. There's an illuminated makeup mirror for both sun visors. And you can choose an air conditioning system or an in-car telephone elegantly recessed into the front center armrest. It can be tipped back to within easy reach of the rear seat passengers. The new Audi 90 has the answer to all your personal wishes. In the standard version, we offer you an exclusive wool structure upholstery or a luxurious velour interior. In the sports package, you can opt for real leather upholstery. After all these facts and figures, some expert opinions from the United Kingdom. What then of performance? Another of the key demands of the luxury compact buyer. To find out how the Audi 90 performs, we asked two professional drivers to give their view. Martin Brundle, Formula One Grand Prix driver. Uh, it's not very fair to put a road car around a racetrack. There's no sensation of speed and you're often travelling much faster than you realise. But I must say I was very impressed with the way it handled and performed. It does seem nicely balanced under braking, under acceleration. The steering's nicely weighted, plenty of power. The comfort of the car I find great. The seats, plenty of support, particularly again around the track. And uh, obviously all the mod cons with electric windows, sunroof and that sort of thing. So uh, it, it makes driving easy. I, I particularly like a car that's easy to drive. I drive for a living at 200 odd miles an hour and I don't particularly want to be uh, sort of bounced about on the road. Let's see how it handles under hard braking, down into third. This is a good test for a road car. Will it keep turning into this hairpin? Yes it does, no problem. short shift on the gear change. This car's only done a couple of hundred miles, so obviously it's got a bit of loosening up to do yet, but even so, it still feels lively. The only noise coming into the cockpit area is the, from the engine, but it's quite a nice sound, a throaty, sporty sort of sound. Not unpleasant to listen to at all. Uh, I suspect the, the new Audi 90 range will go straight into the sharp end of the marketplace with the BMW and Mercedes, and I suspect it'll be very competitive. 5,000 RPM, 70 mile an hour in third. David Llewellyn, Audi team driver and international rally star. Braking is very good. Of course, with the uh, ABS system, you can brake in the corner like that and still turn, which of course is, is very, very safe. Compared to the rally car, which of course is down to the bare essentials, it, it, it's beautiful and uh, it, um, it rides very nicely and feels very, very comfortable. Um, a lot better than my uh, Massey Ferguson I got on the farm. Style is all important to the luxury compact buyer. 
A car with no style is no car at all. But at Audi, the engineers prefer to call it design. To assess the new Audi 90, we talked to one of Britain's foremost design experts, Stephen Bailey, director of the Conran Foundation. Hello, my name is Stephen Bailey. Audi asked me to say a few words about the design of the new 90 series because I'm busy building a design museum here in Butler's Wharf in London's Docklands. Designs that process which combines creativity with control in order to give meaning to the mass-produced things we all use. And I think of all mass-produced things, I mean, cars probably present the greatest challenge to their designers. Now, to me, and for someone of my taste, the uh, Audi's revolution in design over the past seven or eight years has been an extraordinarily impressive achievement. I mean, not just for engineering, not just for styling, but also because of the, the marketing aspects of it. They've managed to, by commitment to getting the interiors right, um, by having a series of technical events like four-wheel drive, as on this particular car, and uh, aerodynamics, galvanized bodies, flushed glazing, um, you know, very advanced lightweight structures. They've managed to move that aspect of car design forward, but I think more interestingly still, they've actually managed to make technology into a selling point. Uh, they've now produced a range of cars, of which this is the latest, um, which expresses fully I mean, the company's commitment to making better products. Recently, um, people have got the idea that you can scientifically design car interiors. And I suppose one of the most impressive aspects of this car is the attention to what's called ergonomics in the science of fitting human beings into machines. Um, the driving position here seems to be extraordinarily well thought out. The, um, various controls integrated into the, um, you know, into the armrests in the door. But I think what impresses me from a sort of aesthetic point of view is the uh, careful attention paid to harmonizing the details into the whole. The Audi Mark has always been celebrated for elegance and nobility. The Audi story is almost as long as that of the automobile itself. It began with one man, August Horsch. Since 1896, the 28-year-old engineer had been engaged in motor vehicle design, and in January 1901, he was able to market his own development. The engine was provided with an additional piston to compensate for the cyclic vibrations of the twin 4 or 5 HP cylinders. Horsch was able to sell 10 of the production models, thus laying the foundations of his company. From then on, Horsch specialized in large quality cars with high volume engines, and the Horschs became market leaders in this sector. No other automobile mark achieved such high sales figures. Later, August Horch changed over, renaming the company Audi, the Latinization of his surname, Horch. In 1932, a new motor corporation was established, the Auto Union, a powerful new consortium marketing a number of highly respected marks which had merged to pool their resources and share the high costs of development and production. The marks Wanderer, Horch, DKW and Audi lived on in the Auto Union. Innovative engineering and elegant styling have always been the outstanding features of the Audi mark. 
and the new Audi 90 is another milestone in this development. With its exceptional performance and impeccable level of equipment, with its standard fully galvanized long life body, its convincing engine concept and unmistakable aerodynamically optimized lines, the new Audi 90 is one step ahead of its time. The equipment options such as the Audi Procon 10 safety system, the ABS anti-lock braking system and the proven Quattro four-wheel drive together form a package which sets new standards of sophistication and points to a new direction. Thank you for showing interest in the new Audi 90. We now invite you to give her a thorough inspection before taking her on an exhaustive trial run. Audi, the art of engineering.